everybody. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Alison Lowndes and I'm senior scientist in the global AI group at NVIDIA. I'm going to sign off visually so you get a full screen for this presentation. Obviously, you'll, you'll hear me um, and then I'll tune back in on the, um, uh, on the last slide. So let's begin. For anyone that doesn't know NVIDIA, this is our headquarters in Santa Clara. Both of the buildings were designed in simulation, then built for real in the heart of Silicon Valley. The triangles here represent the fundamental element of computer graphics, of visual computing. We grew up on gaming, but gaming is simulation, and simulation is digital twins. We're still backed by a billion dollar gaming industry that's constantly evolving, training artificial intelligence and scaling deployment to billions of people. But we are a full stack company, engineering tech from the tiny credit card size Jetson SOCs to the world's most powerful supercomputers. I'm going to talk today about automation as much as I am artificial intelligence, which is my field. Any intelligent system, not just self-driving cars or autonomous robots, needs to do three things. Perceive, so see the world around it, reason or infer from given input data and act or react. With automation, we're simply augmenting or improving our spaces with perception and reasoning. Vision AI, powered by NVIDIA's hardware and software, is the key to this. But first, in simulation, in the virtual world or in the metaverse, in world, we can improve, re-engineer, optimize, and whether that's traffic management or airlines or retail or hospitals, factories or manufacturing. Here with the train and rail networks, even livestock and farming. And we can do it all relatively for free. What I hope to explain today is how NVIDIA is driving this transformation, reducing waste reducing delays and increasing accuracy. And you can do that with sensors, including cameras. This is a fully in-sim simulation of a store, a retail store. Behind the scenes is a highly complex system that's pulling in all of our tech Omniverse, which I'll explain later, avatars, physics, our physics engine, Isaac Sim, which allows you to do things like pose estimation and numerous other AI techniques, which I'll talk more about in a minute. Algorithms that compute the navigation mesh and obstacle free paths for the agents, which are here, the people, the avatars which are spawned with our animation tools, each with behavior scripts attached. Things like dynamic obstacle avoidance is also happening with direct ray casting. And you can place cameras wherever you like in the virtual environment and capture the events through multiple camera points of view. So this is optimization of all human aspects and all design aspects. For example, camera three leaves and, and then shows up again in cam four. And the floor plan shows the trajectory. So this is useful for shopper insights and much more. And the whole system is trained in SIM prior to deployment, where what if scenarios are simple to generate in the virtual space. We have a growing repo of assets too, for stores, factories of avatars, racks, right down to individual cans and items and much more. And um, plus others and partners of ours are building up um, the rest of these um, assets and um, collections 
as I speak, developing their own solutions today. So as you saw earlier, we accelerate the full pipeline from creation to development to deployment. And during that process, you can also be generating synthetic training data as you prototype, as you test, pulling in all of our pre-trained vision AI models, utilizing our inference tools, our video tools, streaming analytics tools, um, and of course, deployment of the system itself, ultimately. Within Omniverse, our accelerated metaverse offering, we have tools that automatically generate data for you, making systems more robust before you even built them. Reducing costs, developing faster and deploying successfully. In the virtual world, we can create anything and pull in a myriad of components. So whether you're an architect, a movie director, an auto manufacturer, CAD accurate digital twins fully incorporating conversational AI or voice commands are child's play because we've already written the code for you. And this is built on decades of experience in the gaming world. even down to avatars with accurate facial animation. So accurate movement, subtle head and body motion and realistic materials. So the leather jacket looks like leather, metal like, like, like metal. This is virtual life in high fidelity and in real time, which is already here today. Our latest silicon, our latest GPUs, Hopper, bring increased efficiency too to training coupled with prompt learning, which now means that you can create AI models from just a few hundred examples, vastly reducing the compute requirements of creating these large language models from scratch. You simply take our pre-trained models and train with your own prompts according to your own use cases. Our Reva SDK software development kit includes those models and there's lots more information online here. Please go to the website. This is a screenshot of our project Tokyo, which is an automatic chatbot for food chains. There are many, many more demos online. Do take a look. Again, behind the scenes is a highly complex workflow with face tracking, speech recognition, text to speech, avatars and LLM, large language models, coupled, of course, with our Merlin recommender system. But this is all written and available to you now, today. and already incorporating all of the acceleration aspects that we've designed and optimized over the past few years to make inference as fast and as accurate as possible. So that's the response from the avatar or the insight from the data. Everything we can possibly provide to make your system as efficient as possible is ready now. Because AI inference, so getting the results from your artificially intelligent system is crucial. It's hard, but it's crucial. Whatever framework or programming language or platform you use, whatever constraints you have, whatever silicon or power envelope you have, whatever model, and of course, where you're deploying, we have to engineer and develop to be the fastest. Otherwise, we wouldn't exist. So all of our state of the art is available online. The code we're working on today and we release as soon as we can. 
either via GitHub or via NGC, the NVIDIA GPU catalog, where you just sign up and pull down containers of all kinds of software applications. This is important for robustness. Vision transformers consistently outperform standard convolutional neural networks today as they learn stronger biases towards shapes and structures. So they generalize to new scenarios much better and with less data. And you can pull this code down from our central repo today. In fact, our fan work, so fully attentive networks, based on transformers, just won first place in semantic segmentation tracking in ECCV's uh, Bust Vision Challenge a few weeks ago. That's the, um, the, the European conference. We also work on combined RGBD, so the D for, is for depth, SLAM, which is simultaneous localization and mapping efforts with instant NGP or neural graphics primitives. Um, and this is basically generative AI to create real time scanning capability. Um, this is the ability to generate camera poses in real time where the neural network literally learns the full volumetric shape and can render anything in milliseconds. Training is only a few seconds on an RTX GPU. So you take a photo of something, an instant NGP, again, that stands for neural graphic primitives, will recreate an entire scene. Real-time SLAM captures a point cloud and we can learn from this and we can fuse multiple camera frames with optical flow. So going frame to frame. Multi-res hash encoding allows you to visualize individual activations of the neural network. So this is great for explainability for trustworthy AI. There's lots more on the project page, bottom left. This is a screenshot of our in-car automation, what we call concierge, and it's all running on our embedded GPU, Orin. Vision AI or conversational AI or any aspect of robotics are already developed for the most critical AI application there is, self-driving cars. As we work to perfect the cars, we're perfecting everything else in the world of artificial intelligence. This is one of our real fleet garages. Everything we do for autonomous vehicles is fully verified and tested to the highest standards for safety. Perception now exceeds that of us, of humans. But we have a huge data set from our own vehicles driving on local roads, but that's highly augmented with simulated data, synthetic data. This is BMW smart robot in their real production facility. Because of time, um, I'm just showing a static. Um, this is a full video. All of the intelligence runs on our embedded GPUs. The actual autonomous vehicle is that small yellow rectangular flat vehicle that's carrying that load. So the intelligence on board is fully developed. The entire system is fully developed and trained with its digital twin in what we call Isaac, which is a component of Omniverse. And all safety standards, of course, must be met. The autonomous vehicle combines multiple laser scanners and optical cameras providing near 360 view for obstacle avoidance, for localization, for navigation, and much more. Coming soon is IGX Orin for all industrial and medical grade AI. 
that requires high performance and energy efficient with built in functional safety and security. Creating the full solution also requires management of the AI infrastructure, so the storage, the networking, the orchestration. This is not standard IT equipment. To run an artificially intelligent system where you have multiple video cameras, for example, in all your stores, you have to have a server in every store and need to send the model to all of the cameras. So you need a centralized way of managing it all. And we built that too. Even if that's a system combining multi-billion point LIDAR scans, satellite imagery, buildings, trees and RF propagation models, simulating entire 4 and 5G networks at metro and nationwide scales in real time, this is work with heavy AI, and there's a full demo of this in the GTC keynote. You can check that out online. We can also, of course, digitally twin the Earth so that we can better understand and predict the effects of global warming, regionally as well as globally, long or short term. Here, predicting super typhoons. And also digital twins of all of the sub processes of Earth systems. Check out the supercomputing address recently for many more digital twin demos. NVIDIA is also working with Lockheed Martin to create the entire US system with NOAA. We're also building our own system that we call Earth 2. Having the accelerated compute, the speed, also brings interactivity, and that is the game changer. The ability to spin up surrogate AI models in a fraction of a second means that we can generate nearly instantaneous predictions, allowing us to visualize and analyze large volumes of data in real time. And we can interact with the digital twin to get rapid feedback on our choices. Plus, we're also able, of course, to generate enormous ensembles of AI models to gain more accuracy, so less uncertainty, not just for extreme weather and climate, but for any scenario. While also providing you with compute capability that isn't fueling global warming, Accelerated computing is already more efficient, faster and cheaper. Completing workloads dramatically faster means you're consuming dramatically less energy. The top 500 was just published. This is a list of the world's fastest top 500 supercomputers. Our GPUs accelerate most of them. But if we accelerated all of the older systems, the world would save 12 trillion watt hours of energy every year. This is the electricity use of almost 2 million homes every year. We're also switching existing data center GPUs to liquid cooled, which also saves 30% energy per GPU. Improving performance and energy efficiency is a principal goal at NVIDIA. Our latest silicon hopper is 30 times faster and three and a half times more energy efficient than its predecessor Ampere. Our software performance is 36x faster than CPU only. And the MLPerf benchmarks show this even at our smallest scale GPUs. Improving our world while building the virtual world or the metaverse, where we can blend real with SIM and reduce costs for everyone. 
is extremely important, which is why we built Omniverse to connect these two worlds. In fact, we're in it now, in the webcam world. I didn't have to travel anywhere to talk to you all right now. Smart 3D video conferencing means instead of streaming compressed video, we can stream a 3D artificial representation of it. Our Maxine offering automatically improves low light conditions, erratic bandwidths, gaze, artifact removal, and it's available on all major clouds. As for Omniverse, it is a platform for building and operating multiverse applications. Where we can pull in all the expertise we need, the rendering, Accurate physics, artificial intelligence, then combine that with accelerated supercomputing capability. And of course, syncing that with the real world. Syncing the two worlds together, all the sensors, the controllers, both robotic and human. Is essential. This synchronization is key. which is why we engineered OVX, a multi-GPU server with eight of our newest Ada Lovelace L40 RTX GPUs, plus three CX7 DPUs, data processing units, and dual Intel CPUs. These servers are scalable up to 32 nodes, and have all of the optimized software that you will need installed. So that you can do pivotal work, such as here with the University of Manchester, where we're simulating the radiation from the UK Atomic Energy Authority's fusion reactor in Surrey. We also just released PhysX5 with all kinds of new features, including sound effects on collision and much, much more for physically accurate simulation. Vast part of our work also includes robotics. A self-driving car is just a robot, but at our Seattle lab, we do lots of work on collaborative robots, on teleoperation and remote operation. We run our own robots around HQ. So Carver here has been published for many years. The full reference architecture is online. All of the hardware and the software, custom modules for all kinds of intelligence or autonomy. Here he's, de he's delivering popcorn. You put in an order and he will find you at your desk. Nova is our offering for all AMRs, so autonomous mobile robots. High performance hardware and software that cover all the common bases across all sensors, drivers, models, accelerating your time to market. These are dual ORIN systems that all have functional safety built in, similar to self-driving cars. This is Fraunhofer's AMR in its full production facility SIM. This is not a photograph. 
it's a screenshot of the simulation. There's much more information online at that link, bottom right. Music is our offering for robotics, and the offering is vast, simply because of all of the different types of autonomy that are available. Um, I've already talked about the assets and replicator, about our pre-trained models, Isaac Sim, Isaac Ross, which is the robotics language and the work that we do to combine the two. Um, and finally, QOPT there on the right. QOPT is a solver, we wrote, for over 700 variants of delivery and vehicle routing logistics dispatch management. It's a client server model and it's available today. AT&T use it for job scheduling their field technicians. Domino's use it for pizza delivery. So try it for faster processing, faster response time for last mile delivery, for supply chain management, for warehouse picking and much more. In the virtual world, you can teach agents in parallel and you can also teach them anything. Isaac Jim provides reinforcement learning capability. This is the shadow hand running in Omniverse with the fingers being controlled using our Tendon API. So you test in SIM and deploy to the real world. This is work with ETH Zurich, their robotic lab, and video research. Hopefully you'll see now how essential simulation is and harnessing virtual spaces. We built Omniverse for you. The only way to produce the data we need to train AI systems by synthesizing it. Virtual spaces must be indistinguishable from reality. They must be physically accurate, obeying the laws of physics, and they must be capable of leveraging the full might of NVIDIA's accelerated computing. Please try Omniverse and learn about the incredible power of USD, Universal Scene Description, enhancing workflows with many collaborators, different companies, disciplines or locations. For collaboration on multiple levels, get started today. There's lots more resources here, and I'll also share a PDF. I'll probably tweet it. This is an essential learning curve to reduce costs, accelerate prototyping, design and deployment. We also have hundreds of online classes to explain things further with hands-on coding experience. It's an excellent way to build AI and accelerated computing expertise in your organization. As I mentioned earlier, all our code is available now for free on NGC. Go to that link at the bottom. And please sign up to DevZone for everything else. It's a great way for us to keep you informed of everything that we're doing. If you want to test out our platform, many applications you can from anywhere, Omniverse, 
Reva for conversational AI, diffusion modeling, vision AI, and so much more. Just go to this website. Thank you so much for listening.